Hello, Zany friends, and welcome to my first reading vlog. It should be an experience. So as I was going through the books that I was reading for this month, I realized that three of them were all about vampires. And I thought, well, this would make an interesting reading vlog, right? Like, how do these vampire books stack up? Uh, so we're going to go ahead and see how they do. Now, full disclosure, I've already started reading like maybe two of them and they weren't hitting me right. But I'm going to jump back in, see if I like them, and you'll hear my thoughts on here. Uh, so the three books that I am going to be reading are Spring Harvest by Rectoc Ross, I'm also going to be reading Bless Your Heart by Lindy Ryan, and I'm going to be <laughs> attempting to read The Gathering by C.J. Tudor. Now, a little bit about these books. The first one, Spring Harvest, is about a group of people who go to like this music slash garlic festival that's happening in Oregon, and uh, when they get there, they find out that things are kind of a little bit strange, um, and that there are these like lures of uh, people disappearing and like sinister things happening in the town and around the campground so uh, that kind of leads to some chaos at the festival and yeah so that that is the first one um, the second one is uh, Bless Your Heart by Lindy Ryan again this is about a funeral home where it's run by like four generations of women and their job is basically to make sure that the vampires don't rise again. Um, so that's why they run the funeral home and then they start doing it again. So it's now like, what did they do in order to prevent this? And of course, the last one is The Gathering by CJ Tudor. This is about a town in, I think it's Alaska. And uh, one boy is killed. And it looks like he's killed by a vampire. So this woman who is kind of this detective that has to do with the whole vampire, we're going to call it colonies. Um, she is called up there in order to figure out what exactly is happening and was a vampire really the one who did it. So those are my three books and uh, <laughs> let's start reading. So part of the way I look, it's this very a uh, non-makeup day for me. It's also when the eclipse is about to start in like 25 minutes. I'm working from home and I'm eating a little lunch. A little salad going here. A very large salad, but good. And I wanted, I wanted to explain a little bit about my reading. So th that is a little more clear. When I do work, I actually read a couple books at a time, and that is because while I'm working, I listen to audiobooks, and then when I take breaks, like when I'm eating like lunch or breakfast or after work, I'm reading physical books. So sometimes I can complete one book if I'm reading it like hybrid style, I can complete it faster, or I'm reading two books because I only have one version of it. So today... We are going to start uh, Spring Harvest by Rick Talk Ross. And I have been starting last week, although I'm not that far into it, Bless Your Heart by Lindy Ryan. Um, and so far, so here's the thing about the Lindy Ryan book. Well, I'll talk about this first. Uh, Bless Your Heart is a book I started physically reading and I could not get connected to the characters. I just, I could not get there. And I really wanted to. And then I got the audiobook from Macmillan Audio um, to review as well. And so I started listening to it and I could tell I was a lot more engaged to the story when I was listening to it. So I will say that right off the bat, if you're having issues with the physical book, definitely check out the audio. Because usually for me, the audio is not my preferred form of listening or reading a book because I'm hearing impaired. So it's sometimes hard for me to understand as well as when I'm working, if I get focused on something, sometimes I miss it. So what I will say is now that I have gotten farther into this book, the characters are definitely a lot more fun. I still feel like 
the main four ladies are, with the exception of maybe like the youngest one, they're all kind of melding together still. So I was kind of hoping for them to be more variety. So now let's talk about Spring Harvest. Um, I literally am just starting it. And I have actually read two of the author's previous books. And I thought they were good, solid, fun. I actually found her on TikTok before I read any of her books. But I knew I had to read some of them because they seemed really fun. So uh, I will come back when I've read a little bit after lunch and let you know what I think about that book as well. I got a little bit farther in Spring Harvest. And what I have to say about this is that there's only five characters in there so far, which makes it easier to keep track of who's who. The characters are pretty distinct. However, I will say that I don't really like any of them right now. They're, except for one of the guys, he seems to be, you know, pretty okay. But like, all the girls seem to be super vapid and <laughs> like super visual and one of the guys kind of like a frat bro so he's not that great either so we will see um if i actually like these characters or not i wanted to get this part of the video done before my husband comes in for bed but i just finished spring harvest and i don't know if i liked it um there were parts of it that were good but i just couldn't stand the characters um there was some like forced twists in this whole thing. Yeah, I'm also coming to the realization that maybe vampire books are just not my thing anymore. Like I was really into Twilight like way back when it first came out, but maybe I've evolved since then. I'm not exactly sure. <laughs> um, I think I'm gonna give it a three stars. However, I'm going to continue with Bless Your Heart and see what happens through that one. Um, I really hope that it kind of redeems this whole vampire thing we're doing right now. Um, side note, if you have any good vampire wrecks that you're like, you would like this. Okay, I like thrillers, fantasies, horror, um, YA, mysteries. Um, but I don't, like, the, the, the romance ones have to be very specific in order for me to like them. So, just a heads up there. But yeah, give me your, your recs down in the comments. I just finished Bless Your Heart. Um, and also I'm having kind of a no makeup day because I'm having really bad allergies in my eyes. And I don't want anything to get me into my eyes right now. So my whole thing about Bless Your Heart is that it was funny at times but not laugh out loud funny the characters kind of blended into each other when it comes to the main four and honestly a lot of the stuff wasn't really explained very well in my opinion um the ending was better than i thought but to me it just it just didn't hit me so i'm probably going to give it a 3.5 um, but now i'm going to start reading the one i'm dreading the most i think which is the gathering by CJ Tudor that I've already DNF'd once. Let's see if I can continue reading it this time. I have a little update about The Gathering. I am 59% of the way through. I spent a lot of today reading it and I just want it to be done. I don't feel like I hate it, but I also don't feel like it's as thrilling like right now I'm just basically reading it for the mystery aspect of it like of what it is inevitably going to turn out like why are these people dying are the vampires really behind it I don't know so I'm going to continue it looks like I have about two hours left so we'll see also spent probably a good chunk of my evening watching apples never fall on peacock I'm about halfway through it and um again I really just want to get to the end of the mystery and figure out who this person is I I did not finish the book okay um it's by Leanne Moriarty I don't know if any of you have read that if you have comment below tell me because I actually listened to the audiobook when it came out and I just could not get into the I couldn't get into the characters I'm not a tennis person so it was just kind of like okay to me 
but the TV show is actually a lot more interesting than the book. So there's that. Um, but yeah, anyway, I'm about to go to bed, see how much I can get done on this book, and I will come back to you when I'm done, because I'm very close to being done with all of these vampire books. <sighs> and it's been a ride, right? It's It's been a ride. I finished The Gathering. I'm still not sure what I feel about it, honestly. It... I felt compelled to finish it because I really wanted to know the mystery and how it wound up and there are some twists, but I felt like at the end of it, nothing became clear until the last like 5% about what was happening. Like even the lead detective is like, I have no idea, I feel like I'm missing something for like 90% of the book. <laughs> like we were just flailing all over the place trying to put the pieces together and I just wasn't that enjoyable to me. I made it through though so there's that. So I wanted to come back and kind of give you my final thoughts on these books and kind of rank them so you can know better uh, what what I might think of them. I, I'm gonna be perfectly honest maybe vampire books are just not my thing anymore. I don't know. But I felt like I really struggled through all of these books and I just didn't totally enjoy them. They were, with the exception of one of them, they were like pretty fast reads. But I don't know, I just, maybe it's just not for me <laughs> anymore. But I will tell you that uh, in the number three position is Spring Harvest by Rec Talk Ross. I just really wanted more from the story and the characters and I wanted to like the characters more and I just didn't. Um, and then in the number two position, we're going to go with The Gathering by C.J. Tudor because that one actually interested me a little bit more than I thought once I could really get into it. But I'm going to give my number one to Bless Your Heart because it was funny and it kind of had really interesting characters. Once I could get the characters straightened out, I, I think the characters were a lot better and I really enjoyed the ending. So I think... Uh, yeah, it's going to get my number one spot. So please tell me again if you have read any of these down in the comments and let's start a discussion.